Hi guys! So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different type of video. I'm just going to be talking about my current lifestyle favorites, kind of not related to beauty. And yeah, I haven't really done this type of video, I don't think ever. I think I usually just do beauty favorites and include a few random things. If that, I haven't really been including even lifestyle or fashion favorites in my videos for like a year or so. Um, which I kind of want to change and include that aspect of my life as well because it's all fun and games when it comes to beauty, but there is a lot that I think I like to talk about that is, you know, either fashion related or lifestyle, health, all that type of stuff. So I don't think it will be necessarily monthly current favorites, but I think it might be like maybe every other month or just kind of sporadically maybe in the middle of the month sometimes so I don't really want to say this is January even though most of this stuff has been my obsession for January uh, this is just gonna kind of be uh, I'm not really sure when I'm gonna be doing these but for now I do have a list of stuff that I want to talk about because I've been you know with New Year's and it being January there's a lot of new stuff that you uh, I guess with resolutions and all that type of stuff and even though I think resolutions are kind of lame um, I mean, they're lame in a way that like it's cliche to be like, oh, I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to work out, I'm going to, you know, save money and like, have you guys ever seen that thing? It's like, I would want you to stick to, I want to stick to my resolutions, but no one likes a poor, skinny, sober bitch anyway, <laughs> uh, which is funny. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, with the start of the new year and kind of like refreshing everything uh there comes you know i think that it's it's okay to have resolutions and even though they might be lame i think that they definitely help uh i have i didn't even write them down or anything it was just more so i'm going to be conscious on making better decisions for pamela for myself for my health for my you know finances for my life basically just to make me happier and healthier and there's nothing better there's nothing you can ask for more in this world than health and happiness and I think that they kind of coincide together sometimes and I've never been an unhealthy person um I just tend to like food a lot and I know everyone does and I'm not someone like I don't eat pizza I don't eat hamburgers I don't eat french fries I don't I've never been a junk food eater Ever in my life um, yeah maybe I'll have pizza once every two months or a hamburger once every two months or every three months or something for me it's more I think I just tend to overindulge and even though I'm eating a salad or you know a chicken with vegetables or fish with vegetables or anything like that you know which is what I usually eat I think that I just you know kind of maybe eat too much of that or something like that but anyways I, I if you watch my vlogmas I talked about it a little bit and, you know, I've struggled with weight my entire life. Um, I've never been over overweight, like I've never been plus size or anything, you know. I'm, But I know that I like to stay a little bit thinner than I am right now. Um, and, you know, I've already lost some weight by doing all of these changes. And uh, I just kind of saw myself in Vlogmas and I know and you guys are so sweet and I got a lot of sweet comments from that video when I said I wanted to lose weight and be healthier. You guys were like, oh, you don't need to lose weight or whatever. But I, it's not all about the weight. I think it's more so about health and happiness and be, having energy and just kind of adding that back into my life. Um, a few years ago, I started working out when I lived in California, actually. I found an amazing trainer and he kind of changed my life and I lost about 20 pounds and I felt great, but it was a little bit too intense. Like it was all about clean eating and working out. And I think that there's like a fine line between that and being obsessive about it. And, um, you know, I, I don't want to be obsessive about it and I don't want it to interfere with my social life or anything like that. And, you know, for the most part, I'm really lucky where all of my friends and my mom and my family, like we're all healthy people and I don't really surround myself with people who are unhealthy or who, you know, overeat a lot or anything like that, where I know that that would be even a harder circumstance. Um, so for me, it's really about portion control and getting my butt to the damn gym, which I've, I've, I always go through phases. Like I'll go through phases and I think it's just either like, go five times a week, go six times a week, go seven times a week, 
or go none. And I think that that's what really um, kind of affected me because I was working out a lot these past, you know, I moved to, I moved back to Charlotte, um, or I moved to Charlotte in 2012. And uh, I kept working out a lot, but never really having a trainer. Um, and I, I like kept the weight off for about a year, uh, maybe five pounds here or there. And then I just like kind of stopped working out and um, I mean, not completely. I would just like work out once a week, two times a week, do cardio here and there, go to a flywheel once in a while, go on a hike. And it's, it. I mean, obviously those things matter, but I, I wasn't going to the gym every single day, which is unfortunately for my body type and for my metabolism, that is what helps me the most, apart from obviously eating healthy and not eating a lot. Um, it's been working out and I've just been doing it for a month and I feel great. I feel amazing. I want to go to the gym. I feel energized. I feel healthy. I feel happy. And the best thing is that you don't feel lazy after you go to the gym. And once you, and it's, it's always like hard getting into the habit. And if you miss a few days, you're kind of like, oh, like I don't want to go, but like I should go, you know? And you kind of just like mentally kind of make yourself go to the gym and once you're there it's fine and like that's why I'm in my workout clothes right now because and I did talk about it, this in my January favorites and I haven't really been posting that much because I've been working out like four to five times a day not a day <laughs> yeah right I've been working out four to five times a week I do flywheel a lot I do pilates and those are just directly after work so I get off work at 6, get to those classes at 6.30. I'm not home by 8, so obviously I can't film um, those days. But what I try to do is do uh, working out Monday through Thursday and then do an extra day Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. And then if I miss thir Monday or Tuesday, I'll just work out every day in the weekend. Just kind of make it at least four. And, and it doesn't have to be the same thing over and over again. It doesn't have to be boring. And um, I think that you know, one of the things for me is just kind of switching it up. Like I will do flywheel two times a week or once a week and then Pilates once a week and then the rest of the of them are just cardio and just be on the treadmill and breaking a sweat. So I have some favorites that have come along with that. And if you guys would like me to make the health fitness thing kind of regular, I would love to talk to you guys about it. I did want to share a few things that I've been really enjoying along with this kind of lifestyle change. Ugh, I hate that freaking saying, but whatever. It's the truth. Um, and it's little by little. It's day by day. You can't just go from whatever, YOLO, to I'm only going to eat healthy and go to the gym every day. And, and I, like I said, it's a balance. So there's things that have helped me a lot. Um, one of them is my Erin Condren planner. Um, I've been really dedicated to kind of planning out um, meals, planning out, um, workouts, all of that, and just keeping everything tracked. If you have a full-time job, if you do YouTube, if you blog, anything like that, this is going to save your life. Um, this is just my week at a glance right now, so I have, like, meetings, stuff that I know I have for work, like, set meetings. Um, I also have, like, today I said film, so I'm so excited you can cross that off and say, yeah, I did it. Um, I'm also going to plan on editing the vlog that I filmed this weekend. I have all of my beauty favorites like uh, written down here, um, some video ideas. I have my lifestyle favorites right here that I'm actually going to be talking about with you. Um, but this is my first one uh, that I wanted to share. This is my fourth Erin Condren planner. I, got, I started using them back in 2012 and I just really enjoy them. They are obviously a little bit bulkier than... Um, a small planner but it's so detailed I mean you literally have room to write anything that you might have if you're especially if you're in school that might be easier here's like my week last week and you know what I like is they also have a um, write like a calendar where you can write if you like have something like I have like my Atlanta weekend um, taped in here and then you can just write goals down on this side I have a little bit more video ideas linked there or written there um, so just kind of like, I, I don't know, I just find it really therapeutic and very helpful for me to stay organized, especially at work, but it also really helps with health and fitness if you want to be like, um, you know, accountable and tracking everything that you are doing health-wise. Next thing is this little baby, and it is the Jawbone Up Band. It is 
it's probably one of the biggest game changers I've you know come across it does come with the app I got this for Christmas um, so I have my up band here which is just the up um, thing I've done horrible on my steps today. I accidentally forgot to sleep with it last night and um, I remember I was about to leave and I actually get a lot of steps done in the morning because I, I'm i probably like running, like I run from my bed, go to coffee, come back here, you know, do my hair, do my makeup, all that. I probably get like a good amount of steps that I wasn't wearing that. Um, so right now I'm at 47% and I'm going to go work out right now and push to that 100%, which means I've done 4,716 steps. I had a really crazy day at the office. I was at my desk. I was in a three hour long meeting. And so it just, this keeps you so accountable for what you are doing. Um, you can get this, you can get the Fitbit, you can get any of that stuff, but you can also connect your MyFitnessPal to it. So I will zoom up a little bit closer so you guys can see. Um, it says I have 906 calories to go. I have, these are my steps and it literally, you know, tells you like all of the steps. And then this is my night, which I forgot to track it, so I just kind of guesstimated yesterday. But, you know, it's just, um, it's very easy. So, like, here on the 31st, on Saturday, I went to the mall and was walking a lot. I didn't work out, but I did do a lot. Um, I had 94% of sleep and 118% of steps. All about accountability and really knowing what you're doing. Like, I realized how many more how much more I active I am when I'm not at the office times during lunch just take a walk or you know I'll go maybe sometimes go to the mall during lunch and walk around there and just kind of things where it's like you might not think about it little things do add up taking the stairs as much as you can you know even if you are working at your desk all day I get up and walk the offices a little bit just be like hey guys like what's up like kind of saying hi to everyone when I'm just kind of tracking my steps. Um, but I really like this. I like that it, it really helps with your sleep too. Um, I forgot to wear mine last night, but I usually don't. And it's, you know, you just press the little thing and it goes to sleep and it'll tell you if you've like woken up during the day. And a lot of times, like I used to think, I'm like, oh, I'm sleeping great. But usually um, I do wake up in the middle of the night and it does tell you. So there's just little things like that that just really help you kind of Put your health as your number one priority because honestly, there's nothing more important. Like I said, there's nothing more important than your health. So the next thing I want to talk about is like I know a lot of people, um, I was actually against it for a long time. And it's because if you do, if you've ever had that clean eating me mental um, kind of thing where it's like eat as much as you want, but just eat protein and vegetables and fruits and stuff like that, where it did work for me in the past, but I didn't, I just thought it was a little too rigorous. And I went to something where even though you are tracking your calories, I think that it just lets you have a little bit more freedom. And it, I, I feel better. Like I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything ever when I'm do, using this. So that is the um, My Fitness Pal app on your phone. It's a free app. Anyone can download it if you have a Droid or an iPhone. Um, I won't really go into too much detail about it, but basically it's a calorie counter. You can scan items. So even if you have like, say you buy like a breakfast bar or something, you can scan it. You can type in if you go to eat at like, um, I don't know, Starbucks or wherever. You can really type in any like popular chain restaurant and any of the calories will pop up. Um, and it really, really keeps you accountable and it just makes you aware of what you're eating. Like I get this chopped salad at a restaurant all the time and I was just like, oh, adding garbanzo beans, feta cheese. And I'm like, oh crap, like that feta cheese and garbanzo beans, that added 200 calories. So I was like, I don't really like garbanzo beans and I would rather have a glass of wine as opposed to a little bit of cheese. So it's stuff like that that just, you makes you think about and you're like, okay, well, it is about calories in, calories burned. If and, and that's the main kind of focus of it. Um, so I know that there's a lot of different opinions on that and that calorie counting is bad and it's obsessive and all this stuff. It is a little bit obsessive, but I think that, you know, it's not something that you'd have to do every day. It just keeps you conscious of what you are eating and it helps me and I'm like, oh, like I have like today, um, I have 916 calories left, which I could have dinner and I could go to sleep and not work out, but it's better if you go work out and come and have dinner and then, um, I'm pointing that way because I'm like, my gym is that way <laughs> outside of my window. Um, you know, it, it's just better for you if you have more calories left over 
um, after the day is done. You have a few more things I want to share. Um, so I did mention a little bit about Flywheel. It's a um, indoor cycling studio. It's very similar to like Soul Cycle. That is probably my favorite workout. Um, it is a little pricey depending on where you live. I bought a package and um, I've bought a package twice. I try to go two times a week or at least once if I if I can't. Um, sometimes they've, they've been sold out a lot because of the New Year's and resolutions and all that fun jazz, but um, I love it. It's so high intensity cardio. It is like you are you leave there drenched. You feel amazing after and it's 45 minutes amazing music you know there's a teacher that is just like yelling at you and like really motivating and so much fun i love going to flywheel um one of the things that you recommend is if you guys do like take friends with you it's even fun like you know my friends like will do instead of like girls night this week let's just all go to flywheel or you know two, two or three of us would go to a class at like 6 30 or 7 30 which i find really helpful because it motivates you to go even more because you're like oh i get to see my friends and like you guys are kind of like you know next to each other and it's kind of like you make an outing of it as well. We'll link everything down below that I'm talking about. Um, I've also been really enjoying my Pilates Reformer class that I've been taking with my mom. If you guys have not heard of that, it's um, Pilates Reformer is like a machine and it really works on lengthening and toning and core. And I've been absolutely loving those classes as well. And one of my food favorites also that I wanted to talk to you guys about, and I've been obsessed, like I will literally insert pictures of like all the Instagrams I've made of this particular favorite food. Um, sushi is my favorite food and even though I've always liked like the healthier sushi, I've been obsessed with no rice sushi rolls that are just cucumber wrapped rolls and you can put um, tuna, avocado, uh, salmon, crab, yellowtail, whatever. Mostly all sushi places I go to have a variation of the roll, so you guys should definitely try it next time you're at a sushi place and it's just a lot healthier for you because you don't have to have the rice on it and I love it. It tastes so, so good. I have it with sriracha and it's just like a cucumber. And today I had one, it had, it had cucumber, um, salmon, tuna. I think I had cream cheese, but just like a really little bit, uh, nothing fried or anything like that. It's just like a really simple, clean, yummy sushi roll. So I've been loving those. And the last thing, my favorite thing on this earth is the Starbucks flat white new coffees. They are amazing. They are a take on the cappuccino where it's like a steamed uh, milk over it instead of like a frothy milk. It's more of like a milky foam. They taste so good. I get them with skim milk and they're only about 100 calories. So love them because I don't like any of like the sweet latte ones. Like I had like one pumpkin spice latte last last fall um but it's so good if you guys haven't tried them they are amazing especially if you like uh, cappuccinos or anything like that and don't really like the sweet stuff they're really good and not that bad for you if you get them um skim milk i mean even whole milk i think they're like 200 or something like that and yeah so i really recommend those and i do add a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg to them so those are kind of like my favorites that i wanted to share that are more related to health and fitness. I hope you guys enjoyed my video even though a lot of you are here because of makeup. <laughs> um, I hope you gave this your, your time of day and um, you know I think that it is important to talk about this stuff especially I've never specified my channel being just a makeup channel and health has so much to do with beauty because it's just all about what you feel inside of what you know comes out and I think that that gets lost sometimes and you know I could have all the makeup in the world if you know but the most important thing is my health and how I feel inside mentally and physically you know working out and being healthy and having a happy state of mind and heart that's really only only going to bring you positivity into your life and um, you know, get rid of the negative energy as well. So now I'm off to the gym because I'm sticking with my plan, you guys. And um, if you guys are going through something similar, let me know if you guys have had any success or anything like that. Um, again, let me know. I'm not looking to lose 100 pounds here, but I am looking to lose at least 15 to 20, if that makes sense. So, all right, guys. Well, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.